experiences give us the language of our dreams, and it's from this that we knit together this idea of who we are, who we become, and a path to get there. And let me tell you a story about when I really came to understand the power of the experience. So about seven years ago, I started teaching at Harper High School, south side of Chicago in West Inglewood. Um, you know, it's an area notorious for drugs, violence, crime, poverty, food deserts, all of our nation's ills, smack dab in a single place. In fact, that last year that I was teaching there, uh, This American Life did a two-part series on NPR um, documenting the fact that 29 kids were shot and eight were killed in a single school year. So you can imagine, here I am in the classroom um, facing all of these challenges, right? Students who had never seen the lake couldn't recognize a strawberry that I held up in front of my class. Right? And I recognize that here we are in the education system, and we're missing a huge piece about what fundamentally moves us, what fundamentally drives us, causes us to achieve, and become who we are. Right? I knew that if we, were gonna if we were gonna change outcomes for students, we needed to change the experiences that they were having. So we immediately started to take students on journeys all around the city, restaurants, theaters, plays, workshops, universities, and saw a huge return on our investment. Grades, test scores skyrocketed, attendance. And so that was the very beginning of Embark. Since then, we started to expand the program within the school, um, and while teaching full-time in one of the most dangerous schools in the country, I grew the program to three schools with a co-founder who also taught uh, at Harper High School, January Miller. And finally, we left the school, and I'm proud to say that we are now in 10 schools serving 600 students all around the city. Thank you. And what's interesting is that this idea that began in the classroom is now starting to become recognized by some of the leading theorists, leading universities, authors all around our country. The University of Chicago, Robert Putnam, Paul Tuff, are saying that what we saw in the classroom every single day was exactly right. That the lack of access, isolation, is one of the key elements in the cycles of poverty. And if we're going to have any chance at breaking that, we need to address that very situation. So Embark is now being recognized as one of our, lead, our city's leading post-secondary and academic success programs. We are fundamentally changing the way people see education. You know, what's interesting, though, uh, is our, our data. And I'm so excited to continue to share that. We have a 96% high school graduation rate. 93% of our students are going on to college. And for every dollar that's invested in the Embark program, we bring $7 back to the economy. That's savings in crime, incarceration rates, in additions, in tax revenue. It's, fun, it's tremendous. But you know what? I'm not here just to talk about the Embark program. I'm here because we need a new vision for a different type of city, one in which the networks that connect our neighborhoods are built, one in which the borders that separate our communities are not so distinct, one in which we can spread opportunity and access into some of the furthest reaches of our most forgotten neighborhoods and into so many of our most forgotten lives. Right? This is about teaching students, giving them the access to opportunity to understand that they are limitless, that they are boundless, and that they can achieve anything. I am here to tell all of us, and we are all here, to recognize that this city no matter what we hear in the media, no matter the sirens, how loud the police sirens are in the streets, that we know without a doubt that there are heroes at every corner of this city just waiting to be made. What they need is the opportunity, the access, and the experiences to do so. Ladies and gentlemen, my challenge to all of us to recognize that we need to reinvent the education that we are offering. Education must go beyond the classroom. It must include the networks around us, the communities around us. That is the education of the future. If we are going to give students the control over their destinies, they're going to need the experiences to do so. And it is our task at hand for the future. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.